Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about my top three web hosts. Now I've looked at a good amount of them by now. I've reviewed a lot of them here on the channel. We look at specific things that other reviews might uh, forget to mention. Specific pricing things are important to think about. We don't do in-depth speed tests and stuff like that because in my experience while using a lot of the major web hosts, most of them offer pretty competitive speeds that aren't really going to make that much of a difference to the end user unless I specifically mention that in my reviews. Something like A2 Hosting is particularly fast and something like Kinsta is also particularly fast too. But all the other web hosts for the most part offer pretty good speeds and depending on the plan you purchase, whether VPS or whatever, you can also get better speeds too. So with that in mind, let's go ahead into my top three recommendations. After looking at all these web hosts and reviewing them objectively which ones are my favorites well number one is going to be dreamhost now dreamhost I, I would say is my best all around web host the reason i like dreamhost so much is because they offer so many different plans but the main thing i like about dreamhost is they just do things right in terms of consumer friendliness and affordability it's one of the cheapest web hosts hands down and in my experience using it for several of my websites in the past you don't actually get any um any downsides to that really um at all there is one little downside i'll discuss that in a little bit i guess but in terms of being a standard web host you don't really get any downsides we get that free ssl free domain privacy which is very important we also get free migrations um and the free domain included for a yearly plan Overall, it just gives you all those good bonuses. And on top of that, it has a 97 day refund policy, which just goes to show you how confident they are in their product. Offering twice as long as some other um, options out there. Most are around 30 days. HostGator has around 45 days, I do believe. But DreamHost has a 97 day. Excellent, excellent company. Always originally owned by the, the holding company that started it. And it's never really had any big scanners either, in my opinion. So definitely a solid one to go with if you're looking for a standard web host, whether for WordPress, shared hosting, or even some of the other things they have available with VPS hosting, dedicated server hosting, cloud hosting, and stuff like that. So make sure to check that out. I'll put a link in the description down below. It should give you best current available price for DreamHost. So next up, we're going to be going into Squarespace. Now, why do I recommend Squarespace um, alongside something like DreamHost? Well, remember when I said that DreamHost had one small drawback? Well, that's just that it doesn't have that good of a website builder. Now, DreamHost uses um, something called Boulder Grid, which is kind of like a theme slash website builder on WordPress built into WordPress. In my opinion, it's not too strong and could they could make a better website builder, whether on their own end or something like that. But Squarespace is probably my go to website builder. If you want to build a website yourself and do it in an easy way, whether you want to make e-commerce, blog or anything like that, this is the one I recommend. Now, I don't just, you know, recommend it underhandedly. In fact, my website ranking the web hosts themselves, as you can see right here, is actually built directly on Squarespace. I made this website in a day um, without any coding experience or anything like that, simply easy to do and it looks good cool um, videos and stuff like that also guys if you like these cool little backgrounds i have right here click on the link here on uh, webhosttierless.com if you click on that link you'll check out canva with this link here you get a pretty good deal and it's going to give you some really cool stock videos and photos like this on my websites but back to squarespace not only does it give you that good website builder experience it also includes things that i'm looking for free ssl free domain privacy it gives you everything you pretty much need to start a website and that's why i think it's one of the best products out there is it as good of a web host as a dream host well maybe not really but it definitely gives you a more complete experience for a little bit more money. So I definitely think it's worth checking out. Some people out there who are web hosting nerds might say, you know, hey, Squarespace is too slow. It's not as good. It's more expensive. But honestly, in my test, doing a speed test on this website and previous websites hosted um, on other web hosts, the speeds are pretty comparable. And, you know, it's not slow at all. Go look at my website right now. It'll probably load fine on any computer, any phone nowadays. So there's really no issues there. And I haven't found it slow at all at all so guys now that we have squarespace if you want to check that one out check the link in the description down below too um, for the best current price there lastly let's go on to my third recommendation which would be kinsta now each one of these products i'm recommending for a specific reason dreamhost for that all around hosting excellence squarespace for excellent the builder and kinsta is for those people who just want to do wordpress and do it in the best way possible if you're one of those people who kind of scoffs at dreamhost for you know shared hosting or whatever even though they offer other plans or you don't like squarespace or whatever you want to be a power user 
using a web host built for WordPress, this is the one to go to. Now it's certainly more expensive than some of the other ones I just mentioned, and it's more expensive than most web hosts. And it does have some small upcharges that I'm not a huge fan of, stuff like domain privacy and some of those things we're looking for. But if you're looking for something that's truly powerful and made for WordPress, I do think Kinsta has a lot to offer. Like I said before, I don't talk about speeds too much here on the channel for web hosts because most of them are pretty good. But I do believe that Kinsta does speeds really well. In fact, you know, they have uh, tons of stuff to talk about their excellent speeds. They're built on Google Cloud's premier um, tier network and fastest C2 virtual machines. Um, they're saying that lots of people see huge speed improvements um, and the websites are very secure. Um, pretty good support. I've just seen a lot of good people who really like WordPress say really good things about Kinsta. And in my experience, that has proven to be true. Uh, excellent company, um, specific kind of product that I think, uh, you know, when a company focuses so specifically on WordPress and speed and power and stuff like that, and you know, you do kind of get what you pay for in this sense with Kinsta. So definitely something worth checking out as well. I'll put the link in the description for this one too, if you want to click on that and get the best current deal. So guys, those are my top three web hosts as of right now, after reviewing around 10 or so um, of the big ones. Um, you know, dream host, all around standard, really good web host, great pricing, great affordability, good company, a little bit lacking on the site builder. Squarespace, excellent company, amazing site builder, a little pricey, but it does include all those things that you need, free domain privacy, free SSL, free domain, excellent service. And it's actually the one I use for my website since it's so easy to use. And finally, Kinsta. If you're a WordPress user, if you wanna host your WordPress website as fast as possible with a uh, host designed specifically only for WordPress, that's the one to check out. A little pricey, um, a little bit of upcharging here and there, but definitely could be worth it. So check that one out too. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video. Let me know down in the comment down below what your favorite web host is and why. Check out the web host tier list to see the rankings, see which one uh, you might want to use as well um, going on in the future too. Thanks for checking out this video, guys, and I'll see you again very soon.